Hello, this is Jennifer Monahan with Health One Technologies. This video is going to discuss how we can incorporate provider customizations into your existing system. In particular, this is something that we would typically do in a system optimization project. The example that we're going to review in this video is of a physical exam. However, this same sort of concept could be incorporated into other parts of a typical office visit. The basic concept behind this is that your organization has set up a standard physical exam that they're using for all of the providers within the organization or at least within that specialty. A typical setup of a physical exam is that each system is available to the providers. They have a series of check boxes that they can do. They can also sometimes use voice recognition or typing and go into to various areas and type in information that is needed. In addition to that, sometimes organizations set up buttons that allow full exams to be documented into the system or a series of common exams that they might use for uh, typical diagnoses or problems that a patient might present with. These sort of templates allow an organization to have a standard that is across the board. So no matter what happens when the, when the provider clicks a particular button, it's going to fill in everything that the organization has set. This should be our full exam. While that concept is a good approach to creating a data standard within the organization and also some clinical guidelines for providers that are working in the practice, it does present an issue of perhaps documenting things that a provider does not always do within their scope of practice when they're doing a physical exam on a patient. However, in many systems, it's oftentimes difficult for providers to create their own templates and be able to maintain and manage them. So what happens is it happens at the organizational level and maintenance of a provider-based template would just be something that most groups would not be willing to take on. We have created functionality within the GE Centricity product that allows you as an organization to maintain a specific physical exam. So each system that you go through will have a series of check boxes that can be customized and tailored to what your group as a whole would like. This is all done in the Visual Form Editor product. So this is customized clinical content. But these are available. You know, you would set these up within the organization and say, this is what we want for primary care. Or you may have a different one for ENT or allergy, whatever it is. They would have a physical exam that would have a set of series, a series of buttons that would be available for providers to click. You could also maintain your full exam normal buttons, which would check a various uh, set amount of systems throughout the, the visit itself. So if I click full exam, it'll go through and it will check a whole bunch of things that as a group we have decided this is what's typically done within a physical exam. The problem with this is, as I stated earlier, many times certain providers may say, you know what, I don't ever do an ear exam. So then they have to remember to go to ears and they have to unclear, uncheck the things that are that are listed there. Um, there may be something that they missed that they're not commonly documenting, but it's documenting that they actually did it. These are all very big concerns to compliance folks. So what we've done is taken the same approach, but putting a little more flexibility back into the physician level. So we have the, the standard physical exam. If your group chooses, you can continue to keep um, super buttons basically that will document a full physical exam. But what can also happen is providers, and on the global level, can decide to create their own templates. The way this works is we would go through, and let's just say I'm a provider, and I'm going to document um, my template for an upper respiratory infection. So maybe I just do constitutional and head, eyes, ears, nose, throat. So we'll just check a couple of these off. And I would do this on one patient, and then I'm going to save the template. You could also have a set of test patients in your system that it would allow providers to go in and do this. They could pull in this physical exam, check off the things that they do. Maybe during that URI visit, I only do 
ears, nose, mouth, throat. Maybe I also do a cardiac exam just to make sure there's nothing going on there. And notice that I'm just checking the things that I would want to check within that visit. So if I don't always do on the nose, I don't check for deformity, I could uncheck that. If for ears, I just check hearing. Those are the things that I would check. So for my own personal preference. The other thing that you can do is you can also type something within the, the white box. So if it's not in the checkbox area, but I want to be able to put something that I always say or that I always want to be included in my physical exam, I would be able to just type that right into this box. Once the provider has all the information entered in that they want to include in their, their template, they just come up here to this section and they would type in the URI template, for instance. And then once I clicked, I typed in the URI template or whatever I want to call it, I just click the Save button. That now makes it available for me in my templates. So the next time I go to a patient and they're here for a URI, I can click down URI template and it's going to select all the boxes that I had checked as part of that template. Once I've selected the URI template, I just click load. And you'll see it's going to go through and click the things that I had selected for my template. It will flip to a summary page so I can see this was what is in my, my URI template. Um, if I go to each system, I would see this is what I checked. Here's my sample narrative. If I had put something in that field, I had gone to ears and I only did gross normal hearing. I think on the nose, I had unchecked no deformity. And on cardio, I had just checked a few boxes there. So this put in the template for me that I had selected as my URI template. This form also gives providers the ability to maintain these templates without assistance from the IT folks within Visual Form Editor. So in the same area where I was loading the templates and saving my templates, I can also select to delete a template. So for instance, in my dropdown, I had two URI templates. So if I no longer want one of the MRI one of the URI templates because it's something that I entered by mistake or maybe I've updated something, I can just highlight that template and hit, hit delete selected template. It's going to ask me, do you want to delete it? I'm going to say yes. And then you'll notice that that template is no longer available in my personal list of templates. So I was able to completely maintain that without needing any assistance from anyone within IT or um, somebody outside the organization that would have to do some customized visual form editor work for me. We feel this sort of functionality really allows you to optimize your system. It's only one example of what we do during an optimization project, but it does provide providers with some flexibility in how they do their documentation, also speeding up the process so that they can get past the things that they need to click in a way that is customized to them while maintaining standards that we need to maintain within the system. I hope this video was useful to you. If you would like more information on this or our optimization projects, uh, please feel free to reach out to us at info at h1tech.com. Or you can visit our website at www.h1tech.com. Thank you and have a great day.